Hello, I'm Biddy Blocks. Welcome back for another tutorial. Uh, it's sector 11 today. This is another nice sector. This last of the nice sectors before we hit the one I don't like. Uh, so yeah, let's get in there and have a look at it. Okay, so first one into this one is Windy. Now Windy's a fourth gear, so you're peeling back. Uh, there's a bump back there that that can buck you off, so you've got to be really careful. If you look as I'm coming in here. Just after that sign, I'm backing off, backing off into fourth, and then easy on the throttle. It does get quite slidey. They weren't very good examples there, but then you can go quite hard through there. But then on down this straight here, now track positioning is quite important come the end of this big long corner here, because you want to end up on the right out here, like so you can take the take this fifth gear with a nice line, and it and it does have a second corner to it, so you can take it as a one-er. But then I think this one I did take a bit extra tight actually. Probably another another bad example. But then I'm, I'm a bit short on decent clips. At the moment. But as you can see, coming into fifth, it's all about the line coming into it that one. And then on down the road, how this is Keppel Gate. Now I'm coming back before I come to the right hander and peeling back because that's a third gear that one. But you can go very hard out of it, like very hard on the throttle. And now if we come in here, as you can see, I'm going to peel back about there, coming back all the way down slowly back into third then hard on the throttle out of there all the way down to here i think this is kate's cottage now kate's cottage is flat out you just got to get your line right fourth gear flat out and um and yeah i did struggle with that for a little while that that corner back there but then it's um it gets easier as time goes on you find your peeling in point oh that was a lovely run out of out of keppel then. and then as you can see staying over wide chucking it in all the way back out to the right hand side now down here is a lovely braking zone. We're looking out for a, uh, a sign pound post on the left there. We see that sign, the speed limit sign, down into second, and then a bit slidey that one, but you slide all the way out to the edge. But yeah, one of the nicest braking markers on the game, this one, because it is literally bang on that, that sign, that sign there. Now you're braking down, all the way down into second. Oh, that was a nice line through there. But yeah, and then on down to the finish line. Now, this is an easy sector. I, I really don't see that I'm going to have too many problems with this. So let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, I'm really, I, I'm, I'm confident about this. Oh, look, there's that, there's that Scottish Chuck again, always nipping at your heels. It's, it, it's always something to get you going faster. That having an angry Scotsman chasing you down. But then, um, yeah, let's see if I can put some distance between these guys then. Yeah, I really don't understand how that secured me a seventh place then. That's my best position that I've managed to get. And it was all over the place. I, there's, there's so many ones where I almost came off. I was wonking all over the place. That that Kate's Cottage, I mean, I don't, I don't know what happened then. And I was lucky not to end up in the hedge. But then, um, but yeah, anyhow, Sector 12 next. And it, I, I don't like that sector, to be honest with you. So it's a bit of an anticlimactic finish. But anyway, come back for it anyway. But I'll see you next time. I'm Beardy Blocks. Bye-bye. Just a